So we're looking at VPC peering, which allows you to connect one VPC to another over a direct network route using private IP addresses. So the idea is we have VPC A and VPC B, and we want um, to treat it so like they, they behave like they're on the same network. And that's what VPC peering connection allows us to do. So uh, it's very simple to create uh, a peering connection. We just give it a name. We say v what we want is the requester, so that could be VPC A. And then we want as the acceptor, which could be VPC B. And we can sp say whether it's in my account or another account or this region or another region. So you can see that it allows VPCs um, from same or different regions uh, to um, talk to each other. Uh, there is uh, some limitations around the configuration. So, you know, when you're peering, you're using star configuration. So you'd have one central VPC and then you might have four around it. And so for each one, you're going to have to have a peering connection. There's no transitive peering. So what does that mean? Well, the idea is like, Let's say VPC C wants to talk to VPC B. Um, the traffic's not going to flow through A. You actually would have to create another direct uh, connection from C to uh, to B. So it's only to the nearest neighbor uh, where that communication is going to happen. And you can't have overlapping CIDR blocks. So if these had the same CIDR block, this was 172. 31 and this was 172.31, we're going to have a conflict and they're not going to be able to talk to each other. So that is the VPC peering in a nutshell.